Yeah, I would like to invite Krishna Kishore Sresta uh, of uh, more refer as KK Sresta. We all say KK Sresta rather than Krishna Kishore. Well, he's, uh, I think, one of the uh, uh, most experienced civil engineers among us here, I think, at least. Well, he got 34 years of experience working in Nepal and here in the UK. Uh, well, his, his experience is in the road infrastructure, hydropower industries, with consultants, contractors, and clients with UK in UK, Malaysia, Albania, and Nepal, like all over. And he studied in Russia, so I think that also adds up. Uh, well, he's currently working at Mott McDonald's, mm -hmm. and I hear that he's changing that very soon. So anyway, so uh, so okay, please, I would invite you. Please, yeah, come in. Gentlemen, uh, in fact, I was told to prepare this presentation uh, not long ago, so I took my old presentation and represent this one in a little bit new form. Uh, actually, this is a uh, title says uh, you can read this. Actually, this is my experience in 1999 when we need to design a uh, a bridge or whatever crossing for the Mahakali River. It was very wide, so I'll <coughs> talk about a little bit with photos and interesting facts, yeah? <coughs> so what I wanted to start from this mm -hmm notion that how an engineer's bold and right decision put the project in the right track. I was very confused when to start this project because I'll tell you what, what, how I, I did it. So in presentation outline, uh, you can see a lot of things there, but actually I am going to uh, show you some photographs of existing structures, crossing structure, then only I start the real design what I did. Also, I want to say that this this is the only scope of spanning system, not the detailed design, okay? Not to confuse with structural detailed design. You see this photo, the left, far left is, a, is the oldest priest, in, maybe in Kathmandu, and this is fabricated in Scotland, I dig out something. And the middle one is a modern priest, and you can see the snow bridge in remote area, you know. It's very useful for our country. And I can show you the local technology, how we use. So they have also engineering th thinking, you know. You see the wooden logs, uh, the cantilever they use. And you see the decking, uh, wooden plank, and bamboo arts. Bamboo arts, sorry. It's a very nice one. It's a very engineering thing. So you can use suspension bridge for deep course, wide river. You see the new, this is a new bridge, so we have got steel walkway deck. So you can connect to the road network. This is Prithivi Highway, this side, and this is from to Gorkha district, somewhere, somewhere there. This might be old bridge and this is new bridge. So another type of suspension bridge is suspended bridge. This has you know, sag things, sagging, the breeze is sagging, and this is very cheap, so you can build anywhere, you know, where you are in the crossing. And uh, this is very usual in Nepal, is, you know, in Nepali they call it twin, so it's very dangerous, you see, we are in one cable system, but this one is, uh, you can say cable car, but this is also primitive. And this is the modern cable car system, which is very expensive for us. This is the project background. So you can see that where I am talking about Mahakal River is just west of Nepal and our border river. And two BTCs is a village development committee. So 
this is right bank of depot. So, so you have to have a permanent crossing for that. So government decided to make a uh, crossing structure, uh, maybe brief over there. So I was working in a department of roads as an engineer, and they proposed, uh, this consultant proposed two systems, a cable car system and a multi-span suspension bridge. Cable car system is a bi-cable, one, one way and another way, and two span of 630 meters each, and four cars running. And in the multi-span suspension bridge, there is continuous spanning. It's only structural people we understand what is continuous spanning. Means one span affects another span in the loading of ground. So there are five span. So I'll tell you why they are not so good for us. The cable car system is difficult for rural traffic. There are animals also you have to take from one bank to another, cross the river. And so it is not possible in the cable car. And it's very time consuming. You have to wait and be in the queue. And also operation and maintenance. So who is going to do the operation part and management? The local villager cannot do. And local authority also, they have no money because villagers cannot afford the charge for the crossing. And multi-span continuous suspension bridge. So I told you previously also, five span is a structural behavior not so much explored. When in the world, uh, they say it is very rare things, rare in practice. Uh, there might be two span uh, or three span. Three span is usual, but not uh, five span. So uh, we have no ex expertise on design and construction, and we have not seen example of past experience also. And also, this is very expensive, and we cannot afford it. So why new concept? So government decided to reject these options. So in the government means I was also there to decide. So then I was given the task to create a new system uh, with this criteria. Of course, these criteria were with those uh, proposal also, but they didn't do full job. You know, like they were not economically viable. Uh, they are not simple to construct. So what I did is, uh, I researched many motorable bridge because pedestrian system were not available because it's very long. I just missed to, uh, your point to say that Markal River is 1.4 kilometer wide. So those type of pedestrian system is never uh, done in the world, anywhere in the world, so no need also. But in Nepal, we need it for Markali River. So I only got motorable breezes to study. What I mean motorable breezes, I studied is the spanning system. How, what type of breezes they use? What type of breezes span, long span, short span, how many span, those things. So I got two system is very relevant to, to this river crossing. So Kurushima Kaiko, Three suspension bridge, there is a one bridge, and San Francisco Oakland Bay bridge in the USA. This is a Japan Japanese bridge, so this is a three bridge crossing one one point to another point. So I, I will explain how it is work here. So in a schematic spanning system, you see three bridges are connected by a simply supported beams. So this is structurally it's not continuous. One bridge doesn't affect another bridge. So load from one bridge doesn't go to another bridge. So this is non-continuous. And this is so simple. So this is three bridge, so they are they are having so big span, you know. It's very enough for our, our crossing also. So another bridge is San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. Uh, this is a western segment only. So here is the point. So they have created big pair which is constructed on a uh, man-made island. So in the middle, they put some uh, made islands and put a pier. So they join, the, this pier is a joint two adjacent bridges. Again, creating non-continuous system. 
So I took these two ideas and made a uh, concept of new scheme. You see, I introduction of mid peer anchorage. So breeze can be anchored in the middle also because usually suspension breeze anchored in the bank, in the bank left or right, yeah, both bank. But here you are, you are you can anchor uh, make anchors in the mid peer. So other is joining four breezes. So this is the system, how I created like this. You can see four breezes, three span, four breezes, and joined by uh, mid pier. You can see. Uh, so that system, I, system I created, and I can cover whole fourteen hundred meter by this system. So what are the advantages? The structural spanning system is very simple. You see, you see simple means. Uh, each unit is, uh, you know, every, every engineer, I mean, the structural engineer, design engineer knows how to design. Because we have done maximum of 270 meter span. This is hardly 240 or 225 meter span. So simple and known technology and easy for operation and maintenance. The whole cost, whole life cost is very low and can be designed and built by local contractor and designers. So this is the this is what uh, this is the bridge now is existing there in Mahakali River is built uh, based on my concept. So I, I was in de uh, department roles and this project is taken over by Suspension Bridge Division of Ministry of uh, Local Development. So uh, we did a design in 1999. In 2005 they have they are constructed already this one. This is on the ground, you can see, you can Google it. And this is very longest in Asia, maybe in the world also, maybe. Uh, the features are, I can show you, total length is now 1.45 uh, kilometer. Pedestrian width is just 1.6 meter. So height of tower and span, number of tower. You can see the anchorage pair, see only three, because four, four, is, four bridges. We need only three mid piers. This is uh, some features explained. So what I mean is this is important because side span, this is simply simple structure and connected by mid pier. That's to my conclusion. So I thought this con engineer's decision have a direct impact on public infrastructure. What I did is I, I thought I should reject their thing and somehow we have to find the right one. Thank you.